look is called Fresh Face, inspired by Ralph Lauren. I'm Leslie and this is Adriana. The first product that we're going to put on our face is a primer by NARS, it's the Pro Primer. And this one is without SPF because she put on SPF this morning. So I'm going to slowly work it into the face. And the primer is great because it's going to help prep the skin for foundation. It'll minimize the look of fine lines and pores. And the other step that I'm going to do is prep with a little bit of lip balm from Savon. It's a shea butter and just want to make sure we really have the lips moisturized before we start any makeup. So by the time that we do put any lip color on, the lips are nice and moisturized. So as soon as the primer is massaged into the skin, you're going to move on to your foundation. And my favorite foundations right now are by Yabi. And then we're going to just make a sheer layer of foundation on our face. Because all we want to do is even out the skin tone. And we're going to use my favorite concealer, which is next. It's by Yves Saint Laurent. It's the Touche Clot. And again, just want to go right into the corners of the eyes. And then again, using the Beauty Blender to go ahead and blend that in. Because you've got the foundation and this working together to give you nice, soft, blended blends. And then sometimes you get a little bit of redness, you know, on the sides of our nose. So you can just go ahead and paint in those areas and sometimes here in the corners of the mouth. And again, blend with that blender. So the next, I'm going to do a little bit of cheek color. Um, it's also by Yabby. It's the foundation color. And we just want to go right on the cheekbone, really soft with the color. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use is by NARS. And I'm going to use Fez and Nepal, which are these two colors right here. And using the big fluffy brush will just make it very soft. These are really great eyeshadows for blending. They're sheer, great for every day. And the next color I'm going to do, that was Nepal. This is going to be Fez. And I'm just going to gently pat. So I'm not trying to do a really heavy shape. I just want to deepen the eyelid color just a little bit. The next step is that we're going to line the eyes with Fluid Line in Dip Down by MAC. And I'm going to go really close to the lash line and just make short, quick strokes. I'm just going right behind the lash line, not extending too much. Before it dries, take a brush and then just softly blend the eyeliner. Then we're going to move on to the bottom. You want to get it as close as possible to the lash line. And this color dip down is really nice because it's a brown, where a black would be great for, you know, evening. And take a soft blending brush and blend the eyeliner. And that brown color that we used before, I'm going to go right over the eyeliner and really bring everything together and make it very soft. The next step is we're going to curl the eyelashes. I love this heated eyelash curler. It's by a new eye curl. So heated eyelash curlers are great. Um, when With shorter lashes, sometimes it's really hard to use a traditional eyelash curler. So with this one, you can really just push on the lashes. And what's nice is that you can do it before or after your mascara. My favorite mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous Classic. And since we're going for a fresh face, I'm only gonna do the top lashes. And when you're applying mascara, just do light coats, kind of wiggle the brush back and forth. And I like the ones with the curved brushes because you can really get around the eye, get a lot of the eyelashes and really get pretty close. You could use the heated eyelash curler again to comb through. I just want to gently press and comb. Our next step is eyebrows. You're going to need a mascara brush to comb through, something to fill in, and the product which we're going to use is by Smashbox and the color is taupe. So first, comb up on the eyebrows. She's got a really beautiful shape in there, so just really get in there and comb through in shape so you can see where you need to fill in. And then you're gonna take your eyebrow brush, get a little bit of powder on it, and you're gonna use short, quick strokes because you wanna recreate the little hairs that are in the eyebrow. My next step is going to be lips, and I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner because when you put lip gloss on top, it'll help it last a little bit longer. So this is just Natural by NYX. So she's got a beautiful lip shape already. So just filling in the whole lip. The next step is we're going to put a lip color on top of that lip liner. I'm going to use Dolce Vita by NARS in this palette. And as you can see, it's a very sheer, natural color. Blends really well and has a little bit of sheen on it. So if you're having trouble, even on yourself, putting on a little bit of lip color and getting that nice line, you'll see how the mouth moves and where the lines are. So you can just have a closed mouth smile to help with the lips. And then just a final dusting of powder, again with our Studio Fix by MAC. 
This will get off any excess powder, shadow that has fallen onto the face, sets the makeup, and now she's fresh faced. To recap what we did today for our fresh face look, we did a primer and foundation, and then after you set that, you do a translucent powder all over the face, and then we create a cheek color right here, and then the next step is the eyeshadow, and we did the all over color first, and then the eyes, then we lined with the gel liner and made it really smudgy, and then we went over that again with the eyeshadow. And then with the eyelashes, make sure you can curl them first, and then add mascara with a heated eyelash curler, you can curl them again. Then we moved on to the eyebrows and filled in a nice shape with a little bit of powder. And for the lips, a little bit of lip liner and a sheer lipstick right over will set it. And here you have your fresh face. So this is our final look on Adriana. Thank you. I'm Leslie, and you can find me at www.lesliespinosa.com. Thanks for watching.